Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, the pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. Hey, welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology Podcast. I just wanted to go over the chemo man mnemonic. Uh, and sometimes it's relatively easy to say, oh, okay, I get it. But what we want to do is make sure that we do get it uh, because uh, there's an alphabetical way that's a little bit easier to remember all of it. So the first thing is that we're just going to use these letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, then, then M, N, O, P, then T, U, V but we're not going to use the vowels. So we're only going to use A, B, C, D, F, M, N, O, P, N, P, T, and V. Okay. And so it's going to look like this. So chemo man or anti-neoplastic man is meant to help you recognize the adverse effects that go along with certain medications. So B for bleomycin and busulfan, C for cisplatin and carboplatin, D for doxorubicin, F for 5-fluorouracil, M for methotrexate, N for the nitrosureas like lamustine, carmustin, cyclophosphamide. We're actually using the P in the middle of the word uh, because we've already used a C. Uh, the taxanes, T, paclitaxel, docetaxel, and then the vinca alkaloids, vincristine, vinblastine. And because it's a little bit hard to remember 10 things at a time, we're going to go five at a time. So we're just going to make two smaller chemomans and then we'll combine it all at the very end. So again, B for bleomycin and busulfan, that's going to be the lungs. Cisplatin, C, is going to be the kidneys and the ears. D, doxorubicin, is going to be the heart. F, fluorouracil, and M, methotrexate, it's really going to be with myelosuppression, so we're going to put that right around the knees uh, and so forth. So let's add the side effects. So bleomycin and busulfan, it's B for the lungs, but it's going to be pulmonary fibrosis. Cisplatin and carboplatin are the ears and the kidneys, and it's going to be ototoxicity for the ears, nephrotoxicity for the kidneys. Then doxorubicin is that cardiotoxicity. We make it red and we put it right in the middle of the heart. F fluorouracil or 5 fluorouracil will be myelosuppression and so will methotrexate. And think of F and M together as in FM radio. Uh, we're going to get to TV in a minute and those will hopefully help you remember them as well. So those are the first five, B, C, D, F, M. And then we have the nitrosureas, the lamustine and carmistin, the cyclophosphamide, taxanes, paclitaxel, docetaxel, and the vinca alkaloids, vincristine and vinblastine. And so we're going to put the N on top because that's going to be, well, let's, let's get to the next one where these are. So N is going to be on top for neurotoxicity. So we just put it on top of the brain, and that's going to be because it gets to the blood-brain barrier. Uh, hemorrhagic cystitis is going to be cyclophosphamide with that P. Uh, peripheral neuropathies are going to be both the taxanes and the vinca alkaloids. And think of TV as in television. So those are on the ends. So N, P, and the TV. And so those are the two chemomans. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all together now. And it gets a little bit busy when you do this in terms of the picture. But what you do is you can see now that you're going down the alphabet. So again, it was B for bleomycin and busulfan, pulmonary fibrosis. C for cisplatin and carboplatin, ototoxicity with the ears, nephrotoxicity with the kidneys. Doxorubicin is cardiotoxicity right here in the middle where the heart is in red. 5-fluorouracil is myelosuppression. We put that around the knees and the legs, as well as the methotrexate, also myelosuppression. Then we get to the nitrosureas. So we have that neurotoxicity. We put that on top of the head, lamustine and carmustine. Cyclophosphamide is the P in the middle, hemorrhagic cystitis. We put it right here um, where someone would pee. Taxanes are going to be paclitaxel and docetaxel. Uh, that's peripheral neuropathy, the T, and same with the vinca alkaloids, the V. 
peripheral neuropathy. Uh, I think it's a little bit easier to read this one, but I did make one that had all of the colors match up. So blue with the ones that were blue and green with the ones that were green, red for Dr. Rubison, uh, if you wanna look at that one too. And what I did was I actually made a PDF of this. So if you wanna get the PDF, you can go to residency.teachable.com and you can find uh, this if you want the download as well. So again, if you need my help, Tony the pharmacist at gmail.com. Otherwise, I will see you in a next episode. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.